another thing we could think about is where we play on the string because we've got a huge amount of tone colors we can make between here and here. We said before that the string goes, the amplitude goes down in the V. So if I play here, a lot of French composers use instead of a mute, they put sur la touche, which is here. Where the amplitude again is much wider. But normal playing, I guess, and come down the string slightly, so I'm getting a stronger sound. Uh, if if I was doing some solo playing. I would go down the string to use the resistance of the string because the string is uh, vibrating more narrowly so it gives my bow more resistance. The huge amount of tone color between the end of the fingerboard, which is longer nowadays than it used to be. Our fingerboards used to uh, end a G or A. Now they go up to a D. So, if I, and some people say, well, that's not such a great idea because you spend most of your time bowing over the edge of the fingerboard, which might mute the sound. I don't know. Um, anyway, they used to, fingerboard used to end about here. And uh, so we had, I mean, anyway, there you go. I find a lot of time I'm playing at the end of the fingerboard. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was the use of our fingers on the bow, on the thumb position, on the, the, no, the bow, fingers on the bow. Um, if I let my arm be very relaxed and light and my fingers light on the bow, I'll get one sound. I think I've loosened my bow. I'll just tighten my bow up again. This is a very fine stick, this one. It's very fine in here. I find it a little bit uh, very very enjoyable, but uh, difficult to use sometimes. There we go. Now, if I use a relaxed hand position, I will tend to get an open sound. I call open sound, you'll, you'll hear. Let's say I want to focus that sound more because it's a very open sound, a wide sound. If I put a vibrato with that, it tends to assimilate into the sound itself, to join in. Let's say I want to project more. Let's say that I want to be more solistic, let's say, or I have something to bring out, or I need an edge on the sound. I'm not going to press more because, as we said, that just kills the instrument, it kills the string. So what I'm going to do is, between my thumb, first, and fourth finger, I've got this sort of power triangle, I call it. I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of tension, like you'd make a handshake with a businessman, let's say. And that, that addresses the string in a totally different way because it's got tension in it. I'm not putting tension down in the string, I'm putting tension in my fingers, a little bit. So, it's a more positive sound and a more centered, focused sound. Sometimes I want that, sometimes I don't want that. Sometimes in a phrase, in one note, I might decide to change from one color to another. Let's say if I'll go... Mm, for example, I went from, from open to closed. Uh, it's something to think about. The vibrato with the closed sound, with the more tense, tense in my fingers, 
In the closed sound, the vibrato is much more audible. I can use the vibrato to my advantage in that way. So, and very useful in the upper register. So, I just wanted to throw that one in. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you could put them in the comment sections below.